Hello everyone, Barak here. So, this might be a late video for someone who had early access, but I wanted to make sure I can get the best tips there are for this new character and hopefully teach everybody something new today. As my usual reminder, these tips are a bit more advanced and are something to get you from a good player to an even better one. So, without further ado, let's get started. Tip number one. There is a really nice shove you can make in 1vx situations, or in teamfights. If you have your opponents aligned, you can bash one into another to stagger both. The bump is gonna allow you to confirm a heavy, while also hitting the guard of the other opponent, giving him no chance to heal. One more thing that is also very, very important, is to attack from the side the person shoved is from. You do this in order to get, first of all, extra 5 chip damage, and also not to allow him to build you. This is something I try to use a lot in 2 vs 2 situations and I hope you don't overlook this tip as it is very useful. Number 2. Hopefully everyone knows this by now, but in case you don't, you can get a forward dodge heavy on a light buddy allowing you to chain into your veteran's kick mix up for only 2 less damage than a normal heavy. I would personally use this as much as possible in especially one on one snares and it gives me easy opportunity for big damage through the kick pressure. Number 3 while an opponent is out of stamina, dodge light easily leads it to veteran kick mix up as it is enhanced. I wouldn't only use this, but have it as an extra option my opponent has to look out for when he's exhausted. You could also try mixing up with dodge heavy, but if you make a battery, it is an easy parry for an opponent as it is unfaintable. Number 5. After a missed shove, you have multiple options, not just a follow up light. You can do 4 things light, heavy, heavy faint, or nothing. Each of them has a specific punish that has to be done on correct read. If you want to punish the light follow up, you'll have to parry it. For the heavy follow up, you would have to dodge and light on read. It doesn't matter if the opponent is fainting the heavy or not, the light will still land. And for nothing, you have to be very, very ballsy with your reads and guard break. And as a side note, you should know that as a character with a dash attack, you should always use it as it will punish every option. And here is the big pro tip, if you bash someone with a dodge attack and you notice he dodges, there is no point in following up with anything as it will only waste stamina without hitting him. And as a quick big side note that I forgot to say, Keep your guard in the direction the opponent is moving for higher chances of blocking your dodge attack. Tip number 6. Here is what I think of his fits. First of all, the optimal setup would be fast recovery, Dragonite Mist, Dragonite Bolt, and I would personally recommend Chapman's aura over his healing ball. His tier 2 and his tier 3 are insanely good in any situations. They are low cooldown and as a Griffin player, you need to focus early game on getting your feats faster than almost everyone. Only exception could be War Monster as she needs to get her tier 1 faster than you. Who uses? For his healing abilities are to counter powerful fit combos such as Fury plus Fire Flask or stacked Shaman Traps. This is due to the fact that it cleanses Blade or Fire instantly, so you can also get creative with his healing feats and have it popped as soon as someone in a 1v2 or 1vx is played against a Shaman, 
or if your teammate is throwing you to a fire, etc, etc. One last thing I could say is do not use them only in a selfish manner, as it will take a lot from their power level and your team relies on you to heal them. Number 7. I already said you can get a forward dash heavy on light berries, but here's the obvious prequel to it. You can get a side dodge heavy as well. Why is this better than normal punish or forward dodge heavy you may ask? Uh, this would be used in team fights as it makes you safer from his teammates. Actually dealing damage on a parry and a good tool to reposition. As a rule, if you want to punish someone and you think you would get peeled off it, you should do a dash heavy away from your opponent. Number 8. For this tip, I will talk a little about his gank, since it is one of the better ones when it comes to revenge per damage, but it is not a crazy one shot either. Basically, any time your teammate can get in an attack, you have the opportunity to do a running impale flip hybrid attack, I don't know what it's called. Of the knockdown animation, your teammate is guaranteed a heavy, and of that heavy you can get a shove which will allow another heavy to land. This is best done with bash characters on guard breaks, but your teammate needs to delay a bit his heavy to give you more time to get the flip and on light berries. You can also get some crazy deflect ganks with it and I recommend to check Tetsuo's reddit for those, I'll leave a link in the description. Number 9. Roll catches. Very, very important part of this kit. You'll find often times people rolling away from your kick mix up, which is something I'll talk about next tip as well, but as a Griffin player, you should know how hard you can punish a roll on track rate. Dodge Heavy will confirm you a kick for a total of 50 damage, preferred punish obviously, insanely good damage. Dodge Light will also guarantee you another light for a total of 24 damage. This one is done if you're late with the roll catch or lack time or stamina to do the big punish. Number 10. Side heavies can track enemy dodges, especially when it comes to the veteran kick pressure. That might be known for a lot of people, but not everyone does this. It is very important to check their guard beforehand and choose to attack from the opposite side they're guarding it. This is going to be insanely good and is gonna increase the amount of your heavies landing on a finisher as a lot of people will try to dodge without changing their guard because they're scared of the kick. Do not forget if they see this happening they can still dodge attack for extra iframes enough to avoid a heavy or they can unlock to turn their dodge into a roll. And obviously this could be used around if you're fighting a griffon and you're about to get hit by a heavy. Consider unlocking to turn into to turn your dodge into a roll or dodge attack to get extra iframes, depending on the situation. So that's it! Thank you for watching my video and I really hope that you have learned something new from one of these tips. I'll see you in the next video and have a Merry Christmas, Mr. Starboyish. Bye bye!